Also looking forward to another big event, the Shreveport Bossier area. No stranger to movie making in the years after Katrina, a number of productions scheduled for the New Orleans area were then moved to our area. But tonight we're taking you back to 1978. See if you recognize any familiar faces and places in this one. What's the matter? There's a lake here. Get out the side. Days from home. The movie is called Five Days from Home and starred the late legendary actor George Papard. You may remember him from the TV show The A Team, uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, How the West Was Won, and so many others. Two of his co stars, his former wife, Sherry Boucher Papard, and Sherry's sister, Savannah Boucher, also starred in the movie. And the two sisters who live right here in the area are preparing a special Christmas showing of Five Days from Home. As a, as a special fundraiser for all the Christmas decorations you see in downtown Spring Hill each year. The first of two special showings of this 44 year old movie is tomorrow night. Great to have you both on here. I, I feel like I know I just watched the movie for the first time yesterday at my desk just to kind of familiarize myself with it. Uh, good to see you both. Didn't know you lived right here in Bossier yeah. Parish. Yes. We've got Sherry down below here. With the, we're like the, all over the place here. We got Savannah in the top square here. Uh, big night, Thursday night and Saturday night. Let's talk about the, the why behind you guys have decided to do this and uh, just how much fun you expect it to be. It, it's just a thing that happened so long ago. And the whole town was so excited. And when we brought this production in, it was basically, I wanted to come home for Christmas and I couldn't get home for Christmas and I, we came up with this idea for a film that would be family oriented, would bring money into Spring Hill and we could stay there and visit our, our family. But we used Shreveport and the back alleys. That was the exciting part. At, we shot all night uh, with guns and uh, it, flying. And, and we see a lot of that in the movie. There's the scene where uh, George Papar jumps off the bridge. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, LA2 bridge over the Red River. Yes. Uh, uh, Savannah, you were in the movie. You were from uh, Magnolia, right? I believe. Or I, at least you had insurance from the insurance guy from Magnolia. Uh, I work there. I'm insured. I'm an insurance myself. I know. I'm insured with your company. <laughs> I come from Magnolia, too. What was it like being kidnapped by George Papar? It was exciting. <laughs> you kind of, you exciting. kind of fell into his, uh, his, his excitement there, it seemed like, throughout the it's movie. The only, it's the only interesting thing that ever happened to me. So I was oh. really excited about it. Uh, but it was. It's, it had this unique, uh, I don't know, uh, Bonnie and Clyde feel, where in the beginning you were like, scared and then it went from what can i do to help you kind of thing right i think he right. fell for you two in the movie so thursday night you get to go to spring hill uh, i'm told uh, correct me here is that movie theater still the only single screen theater in the entire state a movie yes. theater or just one movie yes. screen right it's wonderful because you it's like going back in time and when you see when you see Spring Hill, it's very emotional because it's bustling. There's there's so many stores that are no longer there. I mean, there's so many people that were so integral of making the whole town because Spring Hill, you know, has brought some really interesting, talented people out of there. Uh, athletes plus actors plus singers uh, in that town, and the possibilities um, for movies there is incredible because it really is like going back in time. And we see a little bit of that in the movie, downtown, the Christmas lights yep. on. And, and this is what kind of talked to us. Uh, this is what this is all about. Uh, raising money Thursday night and Saturday night. It's a great fundraiser and it, and, it, and it feeds right back into the city, right into downtown. Right, it, all the money uh, goes back to help Christmas lights and to, to kind of re-inspire the season. So, Savannah, was this one of the first movies you had ever, I know you, you started a number of movies, North Dallas 40, and, and as a host of others. Was this one of the first you'd ever done? No, it was the first. The first? Yeah. I had never done anything before. I'd been studying acting because I was a very serious actor. Came out here to study with Lee Strasberg uh, in Los Angeles. And very serious about my work. 
and didn't know I didn't know what I was doing and George it was really great as a director and I took what little learning that I had and he directed me as well as he did Sherry and uh, did the best I could this is something you all had your hands in making this movie right you know George loves it when a good plan comes together right Oh yeah, when a plan comes to oh yeah, oh, eighteen. Yeah. All right, just a little eighteen reference there. <laughs> well, we look forward to it. The movie uh, is uh, five days from home, uh, and it stars these two lovely ladies, George Papar, and a, and a host of other folks that I'm sure went on to make fantastic movies as well. So, and to tell you, the ticket is only five dollars. No, it's just a wonderful, warming Christmas story. There's uh, no cussing. There's no violence. It's just a wonderful story. Just a prison it's break a and, a, and then a running from the cops. And I uh, it, that. there's some moments that are just so wonderful. It's got some really good actors in it. Some people that you'd recognize, you know, like Neville Brand. And you've just got uh, Victor Campos. And you have uh, Claire Edwards from, that was on uh, Little House on the Prairie. She was a regular. And there, there are just so many solid actors in it uh especially there's one in particular a character actor and i it's it's so funny because he's in a scene with me and every time he started talking it was all i could do to not fall out laughing because he was so funny but there are just moments that i think a family would love to see and as she said no cussing what a treat getting to speak with these two lovely ladies today savannah boucher and sherry boucher papard and what a neat idea to bring this movie back after 44 years. The storyline basically about a man, George Papard's character, breaks out of Angola and he's on the run through parts of Louisiana, Arkansas and Texas on his way to California to try to see his son in the hospital. But it's tomorrow night, 6 o'clock at the Spring Theater in downtown Spring Hill. Join them for this wonderful night and the showing of Five Days from Home. There will also be a matinee showing Saturday at 2, or I believe 1 o'clock actually, no, 2 o'clock Saturday. Five bucks, that's all it takes. Money goes back to downtown Spring Hills Christmas Decorations Fund. What a great time.